hell is Stuttering Craig doing? What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And according to Stuttering Craig, he's going to attempt to put on his own video games award show. And I guess on the surface, it's admirable. And I don't want to try to knock people down for doing something that could push the community in a better direction, especially in light of all the sweet baby ink garbage that I've been covering. But I can't help but take the perspective that this looks kind of like a grift. JT. Hit the subscribe, give me a like, check out SmashJT.com for the full article discussing my thoughts on Stuttering Craig creating his own game awards show with the hashtag TakeGamesBack. For those of you who don't know who Stuttering Craig is, he was the mastermind behind some of our childhood favorite internet variety areas like... Screw Attack, which is where we know Cinemassacre from back in the day in AVGN, and it made a starting point for him. So Stuttering Craig got his popularity from being a part of that and creating Screw Attack. Fast forward to now, he now runs a show called Side Scrollers, does a YouTube channel, and does all this stuff in the gaming realm. And it's pretty good stuff for the most part, but I would say that he is a little bit inconsistent with his perspectives and opinions and sometimes feels like he can be on the wrong side of the coin when it comes to taking an angle on things. But that's just my own perspective. I've been wrong plenty of times before in the past as well, and I don't claim to be perfect. But what is Stuttering Craig trying to do right now? Well, let's take a quick look at his latest video. If there's one thing that's become painfully clear over the last couple weeks, it's that the people who work in this industry and write about this industry that you love, hate you. It's one big club and you are not in it. In fact, did you know that the Game Awards are voted on by those exact same people? I mean, look at this list. It's IGN and Polygon and Variety for God's sakes. It's an elitist, outdated system and it's had way too much sway in the video game industry for way too long. So here's the thing, it's a cringy video where it just feels insincere. It feels like he's just trying to get money from people. So is this club free? Nope, absolutely not. Why? As we've seen over the last few years, our hobby has been hijacked by activists looking to push their own agenda and literally push you out. For that reason alone, there has to be a barrier of entry to be a part of this club. Hell yes, we're going to gatekeep. We should have been gatekeeping much longer. Which I get. If you want to start an award show, it's not free to do anything these days. And if it's going to be run by the people for the people, it needs to be paid for by the people. At least that's his perspective with all of this. My issue comes in with he doesn't really seem to have much of a direction or any information or any kind of plan. It's just like... Hey, this is a bad thing that SBI is doing, Sweet Baby Inc., and we need to take games back from these multi-mega corporation, million-dollar figureheads and horrible human beings that are just stealing our storylines, stealing what we like, and, and ruining the video game industry entirely. So we need to start our own club, and we need to gatekeep them out of it. And I'm like, that sounds more like two wrongs don't make a right. And at the same time, the video games award shows always have sucked. It's not like they used to be good and they got taken over by SBI and now they're bad. It's like, no, it's, it's a dumb thing that these super rich and wealthy people participate in. It's the same thing as Hollywood with the Oscars and all that stuff. Like, that's kind of the industry. But with video games, it's not like Hollywood. Games are player-driven, player-centric. It's a different kind of person that deals with the game than it is with the average moviegoer, where I would argue you don't need an award show. Right now, especially in the era of YouTube, you can find a content creator that you relate with and say, hey, they like the same games that I like, and I can enjoy this experience mutually with them, comment on their videos, talk about the games and our experiences, and have a great time with that. We don't need this big award show to tell us what to play. Now look, I'm not telling you I got this whole idea mapped out because I don't. I don't even have a name for this yet, but it's become painfully obvious that this is very much needed. Year after year, over and over again after the Game Awards, people say, 
there has to be a real award show for gamers. Well, let's do it. This is the first step to creating a club or a group where you decide the winners and losers of the video game industry. Now, initially his prices were absolutely batshit insane. Like I'm talking $60 for a tier or, or more if you wanna be a sponsor of the program. And I'm like, the kind of money that he's asking for is the kind of money that these people over at SBI have as their sponsors. So how would he delineate and separate his brand from these people infiltrating what he was putting on if it were to be successful? And spoiler alert, he wouldn't. There's nothing you could do. That's the problem. If you're asking for money to put on a show, you're opening the doors for these types of people to influence what your program is going to be about. I don't care if you say, oh, they're not going to be able to vote. They're not going to be able to do this, that, the other thing. We all know at the end of the day, money talks and the results that they want will be gotten if enough money is paid. That's kind of how this all works. Hey man, I get it. Video games are a mess right now. The industry you love doesn't want you, and the traditional media hates you. And that's why it's time to take games back. So go to takegamesback.com and become a member and help grow this community and help regain our voice. It's now or never. And I keep going back to how he doesn't really know what he's even doing. He's not prepared at all. He just went forward with a video talking about how he's doing this thing, created a website, and even on the website, down at the bottom, he's like, I don't even know what I'm doing here, but give me your money and maybe we'll figure something out. What if you don't? Like, where's the money go? Do people get it back? I mean, how far into this are you going to go? Are you going to invest it all into this stuff? Put down payments on venues? Put information in there and pay for things that have to be done for these awards? Buy these awards? And if you don't get enough, it falls apart. All your money's spent. No one gets anything and the award show doesn't happen. So... What exactly are you promising here if it doesn't come to fruition? This is a gigantic risk that, to me, is completely unnecessary. If anything, I'd argue, if you really feel that much hate about Jeff Keighley's award, game industry award show, boycott it. Just don't watch it. Like, stop giving them your eyeballs, like that would be a way to fight back. Creating your own award show in addition to the other award show to compete with them just seems like a step in the wrong direction. And that's even with giving him all the benefits of the doubt that he has the best intentions in mind. Which again, when I watch his video, it's really hard to feel that way because it really comes across as a grift. Hell yes, we're gonna gatekeep. We should have been gatekeeping much longer. And with all that being said, he is openly wanting to gatekeep. And by creating a gatekeeping environment, it makes you no different and no better than what you're fighting against in the first place. It just makes you another one of those gatekeeping horrible groups of people. And ultimately, even with the best intentions, that's where the biggest problem lies with the best intentions. And again, I don't even know if this has the best intention. There's a lot of holes in the theories and what he's saying and talking about and doing and not having a point or a direction, just taking money from people saying, yeah, we're gonna fight back. And by fighting back, you're gonna need to give me your money. And by giving me your money, we're gonna fight back. I'm like, that's not really how you fight against an evil corporation. That's not how you speak up. Ultimately, in cases like this, you want to speak with your eyeballs. And with your eyeballs watching the Game Awards, they're going to keep making money. And these companies are going to keep investing advertising revenue into them to keep people going back to it. Creating a separate award show just ain't it. At least from where I'm sitting. I don't know. Maybe you guys have a different perspective on this. Again, I feel like it's admirable if he has the right intentions with it. I feel like he's going about this completely the wrong way, and I would also argue that there's no need for another Game Awards show. I think the original one is dumb enough. I don't think we need award shows with things like YouTube, Twitter, and modern social media. 
We have a way to keep up with what's great and what's not. An award show telling people what's awesome doesn't really influence what we already know as long as we're keyed in and clued into social media that tells us what's going on and what we want to keep our eyes on. And I think a part of that makes it exciting. It's like searching for a, a game in the wild where I haven't seen this game forever. I need to go out and search for it in the thrift store. It's the, it's the thrill of the hunt, trying to find the latest and greatest game without an award show telling you, here's a great game, go play it. So that's my perspective on the whole game awards situation. Sure, it serves a purpose, but is it really necessary in the modern era? I would argue no. And creating a second one would just be doubling down on that. And asking for money from your audience is even worse. Anyways, if you want more information or full details or references, check out SmashJT.com. I will link this article in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. So is this club free? Nope, absolutely not. Smash, change, change.